Well, today I'm going to talk about how I use podcasts to feed back um, how I was going to respond to student feedback on a module. Well, I'm always very keen to get ideas from students and to get feedback on the modules whilst they're running. So what essentially I'd done is put out a simple paper survey at the end of one session about halfway through running a module to ask for comments and ask for a, a bit of um, feedback on how the module was going. Um, and I've got quite a lot of interesting ideas from them and a lot of quite interesting feedback from them. Um, and I wanted actually to give it justice in a way and make them make it clear to them that I was you know, taking the feedback on board. But to be honest, time was tight in terms of teaching time that I had. Um, and I didn't really want to spend a great deal of the formal teaching time, you know, face-to-face -face contact time, essentially talking about this, because I thought it would look funny and wouldn't really be very engaging for them, but, you know, um, and would take up sort of valuable time from learning. And so I, divide, I decided to use um, the podcast as a way of kind of recording my comments and my feedback and presenting the data to them rather than doing it kind of live in, a, in, in teaching time. It, it's actually really easy and I, and I think, um, I think pe when people first think about doing podcasts they get quite self-conscious but to be honest with you, you, you know, it's no different really from talking to students face to face. You know, you just talk to a camera on the computer. Um, I think it works best if you're just very natural and you just talk as if you're, you're speaking to them as it were, you know, directly set it up quite easily on the computer with you know a, a webcam and, and, and a microphone and, and so on all of which are very inexpensive for, for law schools and very easy to to set up or any, any schools um, and, and then just really get the point across sort of succinctly and clearly i simply sat at my um, usual office computer with a very simple and actually quite very basic webcam plugged in um, and also a very simple and, and quite basic um, microphone um, plugged in and then actually what I did is I used um, um, some online software to just record the screen as well whilst I was speaking so that I could present some of the data in PowerPoint form. I think students like the fact that you've responded and they, they get a sense of ownership slightly over the module actually because you know they, they see that you're responding they see you've taken the time to really go through the information they've provided um, to you and, and, and set out exactly how you're responding ultimately then therefore they're more prepared for those responses and you know I think the module worked very well as a result of it. I think there is always a danger when you get feedback from students that there's going to be a sense that you're taking it and you're using it as a tick box exercise but there's not that much sense that you're responding to it or if you are it's only going to benefit the students next year at the, at the very best so I was very and I think actually doing it this way really helped in the second half of the module to sort of give them the sense that I was engaging with them genuinely and genuinely sort of tailoring the course to their learning needs as opposed to my teaching needs or how I thought it would go and I got a lot of feedback at the end in the sort of the formal module evaluation saying they'd actually very much like the opportunity to kind of guide the course slightly and that they felt the benefit of having done so and having had the course slightly tweaked um, around their kind of concerns and ideas.